Okay guys, it's part two of the office declutter. We're actually getting somewhere now. So I'll flip you around and show you what I've actually bought. Ta-da! I've actually gone and bought another unit the same size as this one that we originally had. This one's from Bunnings. Well, both of these are from Bunnings. Now what, it still kills me though because it's the exact same shelf but have a look, it's still not the exact same size, nor is it the same texture. Like, oh, the FML, like seriously. They're both from Bunnings, they're both the same shelf, they're both the same cost, but you know, oh, freaking hell. But it's close enough, I'm not letting it bother me. I love the look of it, I'll come back and show you. So that's all my Ikea ones, which are slightly bigger. And yeah, that's gonna be, that's the Bunnings ones. It's, I'm not, no, I'm not gonna dwell on it. I'm not gonna let it ruin my life. <laughs> but yeah, I'm happy with that. So it's, you know, also allowed me to spread my stuff out a lot more as well and giving me heaps more storage space. So I'm gonna keep going today, filling up these shelves, getting rid of the rest of this stuff and sorting it out. All of this wall is pretty much done. So I've gone through everything, everything that I'm getting rid of, I've already put into the theater room to start making some kits up to sell. And yeah, so now I'm just gonna tackle this stuff. And like I said, I'm not gonna show you me doing it because I don't know, to me, like I, I always skip those. When I'm watching those sort of videos myself, I always skip the part where they're actually doing it and just go to the before and after, if I'm honest. So yeah, I don't know, I just, I just think it's boring watching someone go through papers and shuffle things around. So I'll get stuck in now and then I'll check back again in a couple of hours to show you what progress I've made. And I just thought I'd show you all the stuff I'm actually getting rid of from my craft room. So it's pretty much from all of this, all of that, all of that, <laughs> and all of that so again this is my theater room it's it's actually my drying clothes room but it's actually turned into my bit of a dumping room again but uh this is all not going to stay here for very long so now that i've finished uh decluttering the craft room i'm actually now going to start getting this stuff into some sort of kits and um, maybe just selling it on the local buy, swap and sell pages just to get rid of it and get some money back into the account and that sort of thing. So yeah, I'm gonna be, anything that I can sell, I'll sell and anything that doesn't sell, I'll just donate to our local thrift store. So yeah, there is quite a lot of stuff that's actually been decluttered and I'm really, really happy with that. So wow we was this a massive job. Oh my God, I've finally finished, guys. I can't believe it. It's literally taken me, I reckon, a full week to do this. And oh my God, I'm so, I feel so good now that it's done. So this is the organization of my craft room. Now, I haven't done any decorating as yet. I've got so many like decor things to be putting up on that wall and up on the shelf and um, you can see here there's a lot of craft kits that I'll be making to actually decorate the room but this is just the organization for now so I'll try and give you a stand back shot so on this wall this is all the Ikea cabinets and I've pretty much filled it with all of those plastic tubs now those plastic tubs you can get from the reject shop and they're about, I think they come in a pack of six for $20. And honestly, they are brilliant. Like they're just the perfect size. They fit so much in them. And I just think they look so neat. So on this wall, I'll give you a bit of a closer look. So I've pretty much just got all of my different supplies. I'm not going to go through every box because it's just going to take like forever. But it's basically got stamps, stencils, different textures to use when printing and painting like sponges and 
corrugated cardboard and that sort of thing just so that you know creates patterns when you're painting oh that's some gauze and bandages as well like for um, painting and craft then I've got all my inks all my sponges and dabbers and then my acrylic paints down there then up on this one we have got all paper type craft so anything to do with like paper and journaling all of that sort of thing anything you can use for junk journals and all of that is in there those are my small paper pads large paper pads in this drawer i've just got all my paint palettes and in this drawer just some more like measuring spoons measuring cups and some more little paint palettes then down the bottom there is some scrapbooking pages that I've completed and those folders there just contain scrap paper so in the diff they're all sorted in different colors and yeah they're just all scrap paper so up the top here both of those tubs contain all my washi tape those two tubs the first one is all my paper punches and the second one are all paper doilies then in these drawers i just have some plastic sheets to cover my table for when i'm doing painting and messy work and then some rubber gloves in there and then those two boxes down the bottom is um, scrap paper for again journaling junk journaling and then the bottom one there is like gift bags and wrapping paper for presents and stuff like that then up the top here we have what i've done here is all my stickers and washi tapes and embellishments and anything like that that is sort of belongs to like a kit as far as whether it's i mean you can see there i've got like little um themes there so boy girl family and baby so yeah so any embellishments there to do with boy girl family or baby are all separated in plastic sleeves in this box so when i'm doing journaling or scrapbooking or even in my planner so any stickers pay paper washi tapes all of that sort of thing in these themes they're all contained there so this one's birthday seasons flowers and beach this one's paris travel vintage and life the bottom one is princess circus fair butterflies and woodland then we've got one box that's all christmas then the other box is all the other holidays easter halloween valentine's and australia day and then those two one box contains all like alphabet and letter stickers and the other one is like wood and cardboard flourishes so they're all sorted so these two we have all my rhinestones and that sort of thing in this one all my glitter in this one this one contains all of my gems and like oh the pearls these are more, all of the, like so basically the same as this but in pearl version so if it's got a pearl with it um this one is just buttons and just miscellaneous little stick on things then we've got my tape and glues that one there is jesse's i'm going to be making uh for jesse's horse a brow band and a customized brow band and customized riding cap for jesse so that's just the materials in there that one i think contains paper transfers so uh if you want to put a transfer on a t-shirt oh god this is taking so long so this first box is anything to do with butterflies feathers all my beads and brads and jewelry pieces and chains all there and this one is my hot glue gun and all the glue this one is my staple gun and heat gun 
And then down the bottom there is just all metal pieces for when I do anything to do with steampunk or if I just need anything metal, they're all in there. Then these two boxes are all paper flowers and scrapbooking flowers, uh, more of like a flat sort of flower. And then these ones are more of a like a material type flower, like you know, something you can use for craft rather than scrapbooking. And then that one there is just general craft, so just bits and pieces of all different things. Um, this one here just contains my paper towel and some little travel size containers. This drawer here is just my extension cord and power lead. And then those two are my, the first box there is my special effects makeup. So like for making Halloween type makeup, like scars and blood and all of that sort of thing. And then down there is my uh, stuff for making bath bombs. I'm still going to be doing a video on that shortly too. Then last line up here, we've got all my ribbons in both of those. We have my tie-dye and fabric dyeing box. Then that one's my general sewing box with all my sewing stuff. This one's all tulle. Is it, do you pronounce it tulle? Like this netting, yeah, that sort of stuff. And then that box there is all my wool and pom-pom making um, templates. So, yeah, that's all the organisation on these shelves. I'm still going to put a heap of decor pieces along the top there. Again, here, these two are going to be getting makeovers. There'll be upcoming videos, and I'll show you those when I do them. So this cabinet here now contains all my material. So any material that I've bought to do projects or anything like that, are all contained in here. All nice and neat. There. So that's all my material. Then in this filing cabinet here, and I found my crystal knobs for these filing cabinets too. I was missing two of the knobs from before. So this cabinet now contains, this one is all my Hessian and lace doilies, any lace trim and material crochet doilies and hessian is all in this one. This one is just scrap material for when I'm doing any junk journaling. And then this one is just all random material. Here is my caddy. That's not really changed. I've gone through all my scrapbooking paper under there and culled a lot of that. I've gotten rid of all the boxes and everything that used to be under the tables now. And they're all over in these uh, shelves. So it's a lot neater under the desk now. I've got all of my art type supplies in these drawers. So... The bottom one here is inks. Then we've got my watercolours, my chalks, my oil pastels, and my watercolour pencils. And then we've got way too many Sharpies, but I couldn't bear to part with any of them. My normal coloured pencils and highlighters. My double-ended uh, markers and a few extra markers at the back there. And then my gel pens at the back and just regular biro pens at the front, all different colours. Then this little caddy has just got all my paint brushes in, a spray bottle for painting, that little cup my son made me when he was about five. And yeah, I just use that for my uh, paint water. Then in this drawer compartment, now this is probably going to be replaced by this once I make it. So this is going to be a future video coming up. But at the moment we have 
just all my basic tools for crafting in these drawers. So pliers, measuring tape, hammer, screwdriver. These are um, like leather punch, leather punch tools. And then at the back, some pliers as well. In here, we have all my different scissors. In here is some sandpaper, some cutting knives, stapler. That's um, extra blades for my paper cutter. And then these are some like um, an owl. Is it called an owl? It's like a manual tool that you create holes in leather and material with. And then this one has just got my cutting mat as well as some just random tools and materials in there. So like my boning, knives, uh, ruler, pencils, tweezers, some wire, floral wire. So now on these shelves at the back here, we basically have, and again, I'm going to be doing a lot of decor things along the top here. So stay tuned for that. That will be throughout the month. So basically all on this shelf is all of my books and the boxes down below are just some like scrapbooking projects and journal projects that are in, you know, in progress type thing. So yeah, that's all of my books. And then on here we have, this shelf is all of my art books, like art paper books, um, my record journals and some other art books here this shelf we've just got some notebooks from kmart and at the back is some paint that i'll be using in a couple of the projects that are coming up down these two are all photos for when we didn't have digital cameras and we had to actually print out photos so that's two full boxes of photos and then down there are my little canvases, so just small canvas boards there. Then in here we just got an empty basket with a little hat that I made for Easter one year. This one is all of my journals and books potentially to become journals and that sort of thing. This black box here is going to get a makeover and that just contains other cardboard boxes to use for different projects. And then down the bottom here, those are just all wood projects. So Kayser Craft wood kits and those round wooden things there are for a future project to make some candlesticks with. Then coming back up to the top here, those are all my current journals for this year that I will hopefully get some time to start filling in. And this is just a decorative box. Then here are all my smash books and a couple of A5 folders with just some feet protectors in. Just, you can create your own like smash books with those. Down here are just some old magazines that I just like to keep for when I'm doing some journaling and junk journaling. And then down here are just some mini scrapbook albums and mini album kits. And then down there is some um, scrapbooking magazines and different um, inspiration brochures and that sort of thing for scrapbooking and that. Then up the top here, I just have my file rack with some notebooks and some file folders in. They're all from Kmart. Everything there is from Kmart. I just have a couple of storage boxes here that don't have anything in at the moment. Those are my planners, monthly planner kits that I'm just storing there for now. And then those two boxes there contain more like scrapbooking projects. So there's like tins there and little suitcases made out of tin, um, different project kits that you can do to create some scrapbooking things and that sort of stuff. I'll be doing some of those throughout the year as well. So I'll definitely do a video on those when I do them. And yeah, like I said, that's just all of my, my books, my 50 shades shrine, <laughs> my after Anna Todd after series shrine. This is really good series guys. Very sort of similar to the, 
no, not really similar to the Fifty Shades of Grey, but it's like, you know, bad girl meets innocent girl, and it's it's a really good story. I really liked it. A few of my other Fifty Shades inspired books, um, my Lauren Conrad books there. So, yeah, that's just basically all my books there. So, yeah, that is my craft room organisation so far, guys, and, oh, my God, you have no idea how good it feels to have it all organized and all sorted. I just, I feel so much better. And now for the rest of the month, I'm going to concentrate on doing some uh, DIY home decor and, you know, getting this sort of all nicely decorated and that as well. So stay tuned for those videos coming up throughout the month of January. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Make sure you subscribe to my channel because this uh, craft room is going to be pretty much a series for the month of January on my channel. So if you don't want to miss any of the videos, make sure you subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.